Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am doing another weekend on the homestead vlog. You guys really seem to like the last vlog where I filmed a whole weekend so I decided that since this is the beginning of the weekend and I actually remember to start it, I'm going to vlog during this whole weekend and show you kind of what we're working on around the homestead and different projects we have going on and so I'm excited to bring you along and let's get right into this. Last night it got so nice and cooled off, which is it's just such a relief. <laughs> it's been so hot lately. It's been for sure in the 80s, like every single day. A lot of days, 90s. It was a few weeks ago that it was getting up in the hundreds, and that's just way too hot for me. I do not like it at all. And so it got down to like it was like 45 degrees this morning when Luke got up, he said. So the house was like super cooled off. I slept so good <laughs> with it being colder in here and that's just been really nice. So Luke's having a lot more fun working outside today with it being a little bit cooler of temperatures. It's still super smoky out from all of the fires, but at least we're getting a little bit of a break from the sun. That is one good thing that comes from the smoke, I guess. Right now Luke's outside working on fencing. We're doing a cross fence so that our back, the back five acres of our pasture is fenced completely enclosed with uh, rabbit, chicken, sheep fencing, so it's secure for all that and we're going to be putting our sheep out there just loose on the five acres for the winter. So he's getting, he put all the posts in last weekend and then this weekend he's putting up the wire on the posts. So that'll be nice to have done. chicks that you can see there's silkies. These are the silkies that we got during the last vlog I showed when we got those. All these other chicks are the ones that were actually in the incubator in the last vlog so they're all getting real big they're kind of getting to their more ugly partially feathered in stage. But we just switched them over to this nipple waterer and they're doing really good. We just put these perches in here so they can start learning to perch. And I'm excited for them to go outside because they're really loud. We have all these sweet little baby kittens. <laughs> they're about six weeks old and they're getting to a really, they're a really fun stage now. There's three that look like this that are ab absolutely identical. I literally cannot tell them apart and they're all three females. And I think we're gonna keep them <laughs> because we had two cats disappear when we moved here. There's two little there's two little males that have white on them that are going to go to new homes really soon. I just listed them today as mousers. Well, it's afternoon now and Luke's gotten all the gates up on the fence and the cross braces and all that stuff so now in the morning he can start on putting the wire on the fence when it's cool. So right now him and Sophia are out working on pulling down an old fence that's all rotten and right by the house and kind of in a weird spot. Dimmy just went down for his nap. We had lunch. I made kind of a homemade mac and cheese dish. It was really good. And while Dimmy sleeps and Sophia is with Luke, I'm going to try to film a few videos. I have three videos planned out, so I'm going to see if I can get them all filmed at once, and then maybe tomorrow during the afternoon nap I can edit at least some of them. He was right off the back porch. There used to be a fence here. Luke knocked it down. It looks so much more open, so much better without it. And it was old and rotten anyway and not, not doing anything because you could just like basically tip it over. Well, it is Saturday now, so yesterday I forgot to film any more, but we just put the kids to bed and or after dinner and we actually ended up watching a movie or finishing a movie that we had started the weekend before because we're old now and we go to bed early and we can't 
finish movies anymore, so we watch them in two shots. And then today, I've cleaned, finished cleaning the house back up, so it's like nice, like all the way clean. It feels so nice when I finally get it to that point where it's like all the way clean. It's annoying when you get it mostly clean and then you have to do something else, and then it just doesn't stay nice nearly as long. And yeah, so, but the cleaning's all the way done now, and Luke and Sophia have been out working on the fence. I just put both the kids down for their nap, and Luke's back out on the fence after lunch now. It's so close to being done. He has the woven wire almost the entire stretch now. There's just a little bit left. I think he has one roll left, and then he'll have to go back along and do barbed wire on the top, and then it'll be done. So that's really exciting because we're actually getting the my brother and sister-in-law's cows to put on that pasture next weekend. So at least it's fully gonna be fully fenced in by next weekend. And I am just gonna go work on some business stuff while both the kids are sleeping. I have some videos to edit, videos that I actually filmed yesterday, and I just like, you know, pin, Pinterest pins to create and blog posts to write on, you know, there's always business stuff that I need to catch up on. So I'm gonna work on that while the kids nap and I have some peace and quiet. Well, I kinda got a little bit of a craving and then I figured if I'm gonna heat up the stove, I should just completely fill it up. <laughs> so I made two pans of rhubarb crisp and two pans of peppermint brownies and I completely packed the oven. Since it's been kind of hot out, I'm like, I better make it worth it to heat up the house with the oven. So we got lots of desserts. I'm also making sauerkraut today. This is an extra big batch, so I don't have to make it again until after the baby's born. This will last us for a really long time. This is a 21 quart stock pot. I use like, I don't know, eight, seven or eight cabbages. Well, I got a gallon and a half of sauerkraut from all that. So that'll last us for a nice long time. We're moving the sheep to the big pasture now that all the fencing's done. Luke built this hoop house to easily move them since they're so wild. So he came out here by himself and got them trapped and now we're just moving them over to this gate to put them in the big five acre pasture for the rest of the summer and then also for the winter. Sophia, do, do you see the sheep? Where are they? <laughs> Sophia's helping me get the sheep's water filled up. <laughs> yes, there's a tractor over there. Do you like it? Yes, it's very exciting. Yes, tractor. Well, I'm just gonna end the vlog there. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we did over that weekend. We got quite a few things done. I, some of the stuff I forgot to film because we just get to working and then I think of it afterwards, but the main thing is Luke got the fence completely up and we got the sheep in that pasture, which was our main goal for this weekend. So that's really exciting. The fence just looks so good and I'm so excited that he knocked down this other fence that was next to the porch because it was just so, so blocking the view. It was just, it was just a really dumb place for a fence. So I've just been really enjoying sitting out on the porch and seeing the new fence further out there and seeing the old fence gone and the sheep are loving having that whole five acres. They don't even quite know what to do th with themselves. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.